Okay, good evening. So welcome to lesson number seven for our uh, advanced Excel. So again, this is Mr. Orvin. Uh, I'm going to discuss here uh, samples of conditional formatting. In here, we're going to discuss advanced topics for conditional formatting. So let me just share to you the PowerPoint that I uploaded for this. So we have here slides that will give you examples of the uh, or the task that you're going to do on the Excel file example that I gave you also. So the first one is to highlight a row based on a single value. Conditional formatting can be used to distinguish records. So when we say records, it's the same as a row. OK, so this is. Uh, the example is to find T uh, category and then highlight the whole record. Second, creating a dynamic record highlight. When you say dynamic, uh, is changing. OK, so the previous example, it's fixed. When you find a category T and then that's it. And like this one, you can change this, uh, the one you're looking for or the condition based on the one you're going to select okay and how they're going to do this there's a second part here which is the data validation okay we can set up the category so that we can set up the record so we're going to discuss that the third one is comparing values so here the example is comparing d column and e column so you can see here the comparator or uh, operate, uh, operator, uh, comparison operator, comparator. Uh, so this is D and seven. So less than or equal to, we want to find if that is true, then we will highlight the record or the row. Okay, we have also an example here using icons to represent data. We're going to discuss that. And then that's the end of the slide. I'm going to give you Another example, sample number five. Okay, from here we're going to do conditional formatting, then color scales. Okay, so I'm going to discuss that to you in our example. Okay, so let's go to the example now, example number one. OK, so this is our Excel file for our examples. So this is a uh, sample number one. Let's see our PowerPoint presentation. Uh, here it says highlight a row based on a single value. So you can see here this is how it should look like when we go for the uh, formatting rules manager. OK, so as you can see, the example just wants us to highlight the category, which is T. OK, so we're going to highlight the whole row. OK, in Excel also or in that database as well, uh, row is the same as record. So when I ask you to highlight a record, it means the whole row. OK, from the table. So let's go to our Excel. So the first thing that you're going to do is to highlight the range. OK, so from A3 to F17. Okay, this is to inform Excel that this is the uh, range of the cells that you want to format. Click conditional formatting and click new rule. Now from the new rule, as we have uh, uh, done in our previous video, that were basics for conditional formatting, I gave you an example. You click use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay, then you will go here. Then We'll set the format first. I'm going to use fill because highlight. Click this one, press OK. Now I'm going to write the formula. So equal sign. We always start with the equal sign. Now I'm going to ask first the first row from the category. So that's E3. As you can see by default, he will write dollar $E, dollar $3. So I'm going to adjust that and remove the dollar sign from the tree. 
then equals double quotation mark then write the the word that you're looking for or the condition that you're setting up uh, which is t but since t is a text so therefore you must put double quotation mark okay uh, now this is it as you can see uh, uh, we'll just explain why dollar e3 we want our excel our, our question our condition to ask e3 first there's no dollar sign in three because we want excel to go after e3 to the next row e4 e5 e6 e7 and so on and so forth until e17 so why is it e17 because we gave him the range from a3 to f17 so he will know excel will know that it's from the third row until the 17th row so press ok and that's it you can see the highlight is on t and here okay on row 10 and row 17 okay so we will stop here uh and then we're going to continue with the next lesson see you